Okay, so we had some pictures on this wall and we knew we wanted to change it up to more of a gallery style. So we took everything off. We're working between the two light sconces we have here, the ceiling and the buffet cabinet. Before you get started, draw up a plan similar to what I have here. I've got my buffet at the bottom, my ceiling at the top. I've got my two sconces in between here and get an idea of where you would want to get your pictures on the wall. To my plan, um, I'm taking my original frame. I want it to be three inches off for the next frame and on the sides I want it to be six inches. And I'm using blue tape in order that I can remove it once I have my spacing and everything placed. Now that I have my blue tape for the four different sides of my original frame and I know the spacing, I'm going to put more blue tape of where the frames will land once they're top and bottom and hung in place. So for instance, this one is 14 inches down. It'll hang about there. And then let's go over here real quick. This is gonna be 14 across there uh, and so on. Okay, now that we've placed the tape for the inside and the outside spacing of our frames, I would suggest to start with the easiest one, which would be, in this case, the lowest one, and the one that you can just center underneath, get it spaced correctly, get it in the middle, and that will begin the rest of the placement for this gallery. have established what the bottom is of my gallery, I'm going to take my level and place it down here so that I can find the bottom of my next frame, which would be here I'm going to place my tape. Now that I've found the bottom of my gallery and placed my tape, I'm going to place another piece six and three quarters out according to my plan, for the inside of the frame on the right-hand bottom. Now that I've established my center and my bottom row, I'm going to build up. We're almost done. And to get this top center one, I took the middle of the frame, I went straight up with my level, and I came straight down on my tape from where my hanger is going to be hanging. So I'm, I'm just putting my nail in. So the blue tape marks the bottom of the, our next frame up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the middle of this middle frame and mark where that is. And we're gonna take our level and go straight up from there to find out where we're gonna hang our final uh, top frame. Once you have your frame in the right spot, level it with your level. And then I like to use the leftover blue tape and put it underneath my frame to kind of hold it in place. Right where it should be, right there. As you can see, my gallery wall is done. Stuck to my plan as much as possible, but had to make some adjustments along the way, and you may too. 
One thing that I did realize in this whole process is it really is best to start with one picture and kind of build your way around it, keeping everything as equal and as balanced as possible. Good luck to you. <laughs> We're gonna start with maybe perhaps the bottom one in order to figure out where we go from here. <laughs> per my plan, uh, <clears throat> nah. so I'm, I'm just putting my nail in. See, it turned out really good and um, really happy with how it is and 